He's like a little boy in a way. He's, he's, he's so innocent. I mean, but then again, though, he wasn't that innocent when he took those oaths and agreed to be subservient, you know, because nobody can, they cannot inhabit anybody unless the person joins their secret society, their order, then give up their freedom and their rights and their, um, you know, ability to think and do for themselves. Basically, um, they sell their soul to the devil. Uh, you know, because when they pledge their allegiance to that order, that's when they give them permission to um, control them in their lives. And so the Sangarian can't just take somebody without them giving them permission. They can't just go take people. They have to, people have to give them their souls. And when they pledge their allegiance to the orders, that's what they do. So every single Mason every single member of the Illuminati, every single Shriner, every single member of the Elks Club, um, you know, uh, even the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, believe it or not, is um, are reared for the secret societies, um, believe it or not, it's all connected. Anyhow, so they see the energy around things, and also Pender told me that, um, you know, like when he was blown up in the bomb and stuff, you know, I asked him if, you know, if it hurt. And when he, when they're in the human body, they can feel the human emotions. They can feel the pain, the hurt. But he told me that in their reptilian form, when they're in their reptilian um, body and not in the human body, he said they can be hurt, but they don't hurt. They don't feel pain. Um, their biology is totally different, kind of like a snake. You know, a snake can curl up on a heater to keep warm and not realize it's burning itself to, you know, sit there and fry, and it won't realize it because it doesn't feel that way. And so Pender told me that the Sangarians do not feel pain, but they can be hurt, and they can be killed, too, even though their lifespans are much longer than ours. Their lifespans are thousands and thousands of years old. Um, but see... After all these thousands of years and the Sangarians inhabiting the human bodies and stuff, they have experienced pain and they've experienced the human emotions. And it's, but just now, um, in the past, uh, well, I don't know how. I mean, from what I understand, in the past ten years or so, actually, he didn't tell me how long, so I really can't say because I don't know. But it, it, they're just now starting to develop human emotions. But I suppose it would have been um, happening before that because, like I said, 10% of the Sangarians will not kill humans or take human life. They get their blood from the Red Cross. And so, therefore, um, they obviously wouldn't do that unless they had feelings of empathy and mercy for the human. And so I can't say how long it's been, but all I know is that their, heart, their three hearts are being activated more and more. And Draken was like a fa the father over the Sangarian, um, although he was a slave to Elizabeth and Pendar. Um, it's hard to explain. Um, okay, what else did he tell me? Um, he told me that, because um, when I first started talking with him, you know, he told me that, you know, that they looked, that he told me that they're, hair gets really coarse, you know, that their hair in their natural state is really, really thick and coarse and, and um, told me that uh, they look more like human, but then in the, you know, towards the end and stuff, he, he admitted to me that they don't look anything like those green human looking men at all. They, they're like very large looking lizard dogs um, with genitals. <laughs> and, um, the penis of the dragon, whatever. And that's the whole thing about that is the penis of the dragon. That's why it's that, because that procreated with the human race, and that's how they got in. Um, God, there was a bunch more I wanted to tell you, too. I really should write this stuff down so that I can remember what it is I'm supposed to tell you. Because um, there's so much to say and stuff, but I'm out of time again. But the next time I'll make notes so that I can run through this a little bit more eloquently. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you so much. I swear to you, everything is going to be all right. There's a miracle on the horizon. Just hang on a little bit longer. It's, it's, I know it hurts, but it's only going to hurt a little bit longer. Just hang on. Hang on to your entity, your identity, 
you know, hang on to that. Secure your identity. Do not let anybody take that away from you because if you don't have your own identity, then you're not real. Um, but hang on. It's, it's going to hurt only just a little bit longer. The miracle is on the horizon. I promise you. I promise you. I love you guys so much. Everything, everything is going to be all right. <laughs>